From a distance, an anthill might seem calm and peaceful. But if you look closer, you'll see a bustling society organized along martial lines. And if a pair of these gets too close to one another, it usually ends in violence. Two of a kind fighting for territory. In the Jura Mountains of western Switzerland, the forests are home to a myriad of wood ant nests, each competing for territory and survival. Each wood ant hill houses a colony of several hundred thousand worker ants and up to a hundred queens. The division of labor in these colonies is very strict, with the workers in charge of keeping the nest in shape and defending their territory. The colonies compete aggressively with one another. In springtime, the ants wake from winter hibernation and get back to work. During this time, the front lines of neighboring territories have become blurred, so the two colonies have to re-establish their borders. In the first stage, workers from both nests spread out to assess the ground. When scouts from different nests meet, they immediately recognize that they're from rival families. They rush back to their nests to sound the alarm. Within minutes, both colonies know that territory on the frontier is being disputed. Armies of soldiers assemble to charge the enemy. This means war, and it's a dirty one. The weapons being used are chemical, formic acid. The ants squirt acid from the tips of their abdomens, targeting their enemy. Now, they have to bite their opponents to get it beneath the outer shell and dissolve their internal organs. Several ants work in a team to try to hold down an opponent by clamping their jaws around a leg or antenna. It can take up to seven ants to subdue a single enemy, so the size of an army definitely matters. As soon as a team has an ant pinned down, one soldier uses its mandibles to cut open sections of the victim's exoskeleton, exposing the insides. An attacker brings its abdomen forward and squirts acid onto the victim. A battlefield can look very messy to our eyes, but each colony carries its own chemical badge. Invisible to us, it's obvious to the ants' sensitive antennae. By touching each other, they can confirm whose side they're on. Scouts climb high onto strategic vantage points across the battlefield. They're on the lookout, monitoring progress to see where help is needed. Then, they descend quickly to rejoin the battle. After a while, the entire meadow smells of formic acid. These wars can continue for more than a week with several thousand soldiers involved, as well as thousands of casualties. Both sides will suffer heavy losses. To compensate for the casualties, the ants capture the bodies of their victims and carry them back to the nest. There, along with their relatives, they will feast on the carcasses.
For the ants in the meadow, it's been a costly start to the year. But it's worth it to have their borders established for the rest of the season so they can recover their strength until next year. <laughs>